The topic of this video is importing data to Ninox. By the end of the video, you will learn how to import a CSV file into a new table and how to set the import wizard to achieve that successfully. Let's start! To import a CSV file in Ninox, please follow these steps. Go to the database where you want to upload your CSV file. Choose a table where you want to import data. In the drop-down, select Import Data. We will call this pop-up window Import Wizard. Click the Import CSV file button. Now please select the appropriate file on your device and click Upload. Let's pause for a second to explore the meaning of the most relevant visible fields of the import wizard. It is important to understand the data source settings to make our import successful. We need to help import wizard by giving it details about the data you want to import. A CSV file is a simple text file where each line represents one row and the columns are separated by comma, semicolon, or other characters in each line. This is why it's crucial to select the correct separator. In our case, that is semicolon. If it is relevant, you can also select different number formats, or if you want to import the date, please specify the format of the date to be imported so they can be transferred correctly. In the import settings section, we have to choose table to import data into. In this case, it's going to be a company table. Maybe sometimes we will need to create the new table from the import. But in our case now, we will simply choose the company table. Click Next. In the following pop-up, we can assign fields. On the left side are the fields coming from the CSV file. In the middle, under Fields to Import, are the fields that exist in Linux and on the right side are available fields in Ninox that we need to map with the CSV file. In our case, name fields were mapped automatically because of identical name and the field type. And now we will map ID field. A little disclaimer. Sometimes you will need to change the field type. An example, it's UK postal codes, which contain numbers and letters. Therefore, it will be incorrect to select the number field in Linux. Correct would be a text field. Now, please click Next. Now we see a preview of data to be imported. The table shows planned modifications. The first column indicates that the new data will be imported. What is highlighted in blue, it's the new data. In our case, that is going to be in the name column. We can confirm import by clicking import now. Done. Pop-up is informing us the import was successful. Now we have added or imported the new companies to our existing company list from the CSV file. Another way of importing data It's creating a completely new table and that can be done by clicking the Import Data button. 
on the database overview window. The rest of the steps are going to be the same, except for the part where you will select create a new table in the import settings section. Let's recap what we have learned in this session. We know how to import a CSV file to Ninox. We are familiar with the meaning and functions of the fields in Import Wizard. And we know how to map fields when importing CSV to Ninox. Congrats! Ninox.